Okay, hello everyone. This is Miss Leah from Language University and we have a very special guest today. I am with Ana Trujillo and we are going to be talking about her life, where she comes from, what she's doing today. And I think you are going to be as excited as I am to learn about all about Anna. So I'm going to bring it over to Anna and you can take over and tell us what it is you, you do, where you're from, the whole spiel. We love it. Thank you, Anna. Thank you so much, Leah. Is uh, I'm very happy to be here today with you and the people who is watching, <laughs> the students. I'm, as you said, I'm gonna talk about my life a little bit so you can understand how uh, others people life. <laughs> and my name is Ana Trujillo, I'm from Mexico, and I'm gonna show you exactly where I come from. I used to live in Michoacán, this little part, it looks like a little dog. And I was very, very happy to live there. If you can see my background, this is a little cathedral. It's not little, but I just love my city. I used to live in, in this little town called Morelia. You have to visit because we have a lot of a lot of history and a lot of fun things to do. We have another state where I move, and this is Jalisco. Jalisco is very famous, very popular, because they have very good tequila. If you're not 21, don't, don't try it. <laughs> and But if your parents want to do it, they're very welcome. It's something very, very special from Jalisco. And I used to live in this little place called uh, Puerto Vallarta. Puerto Vallarta is a very friendly place where you can find many different uh, beach beaches to visit and you can also do different activities you can go surfing you can go fishing many many activities uh, you can also make a lot of friends because there's people from all over the world and we have a lot of cultural things that you should be very very interested in. and i would love that all all the people who is watching can go and visit <laughs> i miss my home <laughs> I can tell. It sounds wonderful. For example, I'm going to tell you uh, about Mexico City. Mexico City is big. If you see on the map, you can see a little tiny spot. But it's a very big city. And they have different activities too. They have big museums. And they have um, a lot of friendly people too. Guanajuato is another city that I know because it, it's very close to Mi Michoacán and you can go and see a uh, beautiful statues and and we have buildings like if, if you go to Europe you can see those buildings in Mexico too especially in the central area of Mexico but uh, I guess what I have to move to United States because I met my has my very handsome husband, <laughs> and I had to come here. I love how you said husband, and then you took it back, and you were like, "Very handsome very husband." Handsome. <laughs> <laughs> love that. You're gonna love that info. <laughs> and I know he's gonna watch this <laughs> later, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> yeah. And how did you meet him again? We okay, we met in Puerto Vallarta because I was teaching some Spanish lessons to people around and his father was one of my students. So he introduced me to Luke, my husband, and we had fun. He was he was in love of the food, of the tacos, and I love tacos too, so we started our relationship just eating tacos <laughs> it was a taco bond that yeah <laughs> with the marriage wonderful love to hear that tacos bring people together everywhere yeah i know uh, mexico is the capital of the tacos and love food means love for a mexican <laughs> that's beautiful food is love everyone that's wonderful <laughs> You learn nothing else today, people. Food is love. <laughs> <laughs> we moved to Denver, Colorado, in um, about two years. Now, I, I've been here for two years. I'm very 
happy now because I can talk to more people. But at the beginning, it was very strange for me to talk in another language. Even though I practiced my English before, I was teaching Spanish. I had a lot of experience doing it. When I came here, I was just quiet. <laughs> I was very embarrassed. They were like, oh, do you know what time is it? I was like, okay, bye. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> But that was a fun experience too. Um, to see other people's faces and other people's culture because it's totally different. I can see other Mexican people here, but they have a different culture too hmm. here in the United States. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. And so what got you to the point where you felt more comfortable to start using your English? When I felt more confident, it was when, when I started talking to my husband's friends because at the beginning it was easy to talk to my husband and my husband's family but when I had to talk to someone else that was the problem yes, yes. yeah I just I just felt that I I was I wasn't a stranger here mm -hmm. and I started to be to be more friendly and people were friendly too And we just started talking and I had a lot of fun and I just enjoy it. And now I talk to everybody. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. See, you guys, you have to use your language so that people know how friendly and how welcoming you are. So when we get scared and we don't use it, then we don't get to meet new people. So that's amazing that Anna was able to gather up the courage and find it within herself to start using her second language. <laughs>